So the stretch activity is actually my favorite part of Achieve because that is where we get to really dig in deeper. I see my students do the lesson. I monitored the live view to see what they're struggling with. Based on, I combined the Achieve data along with STAR, what they're gonna be needing. And then I take that and apply it in my stretch activity. I pick a question that I saw collectively my cast 50% or more missed it or struggled with. So then we walk through it, we figure out, well, why did we answer this? Why was this answer not correct? And I've seen that value because modeling the thinking then they transfer that on their own. And with STAR approaching, like they apply that skill on STAR. They imagine, oh, this is what Ms. Garcia says, and this is what we think. This is how we think through these answer choices. So it's modeling the thinking process. So now that we've done our lesson in the lab, we're gonna look at the stretch article. I'm gonna pass out the article to you. What's the first thing that I want us to see you do? The tree map. Go ahead and do your tree map. To begin my stretch, I always do a tree map. And so we identify the genre, the point of view, and author's purpose. And they know that Achieve's purpose is to inform. What I notice on the benchmark is any times they see inform as an answer choice, they just automatically pick it. And they don't really think through, oh, I need to really analyze what is it informing me about. And it was a consistent problem. so. I intentionally picked that question to show it had two informs, it had two explains, which is all the purposes for expository, but it's dissecting it, inform about what, let's find our evidence to support why he's doing it, because author's purpose is a skill in fourth grade that's heavily tested, um, especially in expository. Okay, so what is the genre of this article, Josue? Okay, how do you know this is expository text? Marisa, what's one clue? It has captions. Okay, captions. What else, Santiago? It has a photograph and definition. A real photograph? And the what? Definition. The glossary. So notice, look at the back of your article. Do you see the definitions there? It gives you the glossary, so that's expository. What I love about Achieve is that because it is expository, I also teach fourth grade writing, and it is personal expository. So I'm able to align my writing and my reading together. I'm able to teach double writing lessons within my reading block because it is expository. I, it shows them examples of this is how they use a transition. This is how they hook their reader. Here's their facts, here's their main idea. It connects, and for them it's something extra. They're like they make that connection. They're able to see, oh, okay, yes, this is what needs to happen in my writing. So they're able to transfer, using what they've learned and achieved, transfer the skill into their writing. And so it was nice for them to, it was nice for me to see that they made that connection and it's encouraging to them to be able to notice that they, they get really proud. What else get, lets us know that this is expository? Where it says Disney Australia. It has a real place, okay. It's talking about a real thing that they found. Okay, so real facts. Okay, so our genre is expository text. What point of view is this written in? Third person. Now, how do you know it's third person? Because it's not a character that's in the story. It's not a character that's in the story. It's somebody else that's providing us with information and facts. Okay, and what is the purpose? All right, so they want to inform us. Okay, so now we're going to start reading the first paragraph. As I read the first paragraph, I want you guys to take note of what the main idea is because we're going to underline it when I'm done, okay? So it says, Sydney, Australia, giant sea spiders and worms aren't just in your imagination, not anymore. On a recent expedition, scientists identified real life examples of these creatures deep in the city, icy waters off the coast of Antarctica. Okay, what do you think is the main idea of that paragraph? On a recent expedition, scientists identified real life examples of these creatures deep in the city, icy waters of the coastal Ding, 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 ding. Yes. All right, go ahead and underline that. Label it main idea because you're going to need that for the summary. So because summary is a weak skill in my classroom, with my students, I decided to target summarizing in the article. I chose an article with summary and practicing writing a summary. A lot of times they just wanna write the whole story and I purposely want them to just pull the main idea, pull the topic, what is important, and by 
turning with their partner and discussing, they're able to compare why was this in your summary, this was not in my summary, and they're able to talk and putting it into their own words, they're able to think about it. And using complete sentences, again, goes back to writing and it practices their summary within the reading text, so it's multiple contents coming together. Now, all right, let me have somebody read the next paragraph. Let's see, Berta, go. The tradition was part of an international study. The purpose of the study was to take a census of marine life and a map of locations of life forms in the Antarctic Ocean, also known as the Southern Ocean. It was part of a larger project to map the biodiversity of the world's ocean. Okay, guys, do you know what that word biodiversity means? No. Okay, no. hey, what does it look like? Before you move to the dictionary, what, is, what do you notice about that word? Look at the beginning part of that word. Is it bio? Bio. What do we know that has that? Uh, what other word has that? Oh, biography. Biography. And biography is talking about what? What is a biography? About a person's... Life. Life. Okay, so if we can take that clue, biodiversity, what do you think biodiversity might mean? Oh, um, like the life of the oceans? Okay, possibly. Now, is this word in your glossary? No. Yes. Okay, so how about, let's see, Juan, read the definition of biodiversity. Well, biodiversity, now, range of living things in and environment. Okay, so diversity means different kinds of things in an environment. Okay, so biodiversity is the life in that environment, the different kinds of life in that environment. Okay, somebody read the next paragraph. Okay, Ileana, next paragraph. Go ahead and read it. The scientists who were from Australia, France, and Japan collected specimens from as far down as 600, 500 feet below the surface of the water. Some of the animals that live in the deep sea grow to unusual large sizes. This occurs because of phenomenon called gi gigantism that scientists do not fully understand. I want you to underline an interesting fact that you liked in that paragraph. And once you've underlined it, I want you to turn to the person who's next to you. And I want you to share out your interesting fact. Maybe y'all got the same one. Maybe y'all got a different one. Take about five seconds to do that. Some of the animals that live in the deep sea grow to an unusual, unusually large size. Sizes. Um, France and Japan collect this from a forest of All right, somebody's going to share out what their feedback was there. Some of the some of the animals that live in the deep sea grow to unusually large size. Okay, how many of you put that same interesting fact? That's what I put, that they grew into unusually large sizes. Okay, let's have somebody read the next paragraph. Okay, Marelli. Gigantism is very common in Antarctic waters, said, said Martin Riddle. The scientist who led the expedition, we have collected huge worms, giant crust, the seas and sea spiders, the sea, the size of the dinner plates. Okay, there was that crustaceans, that vocabulary that we went off at the beginning. Remember we said crustaceans? And what did we say what crustaceans were? What does it mean? They have the segmented bodies. Good job, Eileen. All right, next paragraph. Let's see, Jasmine. Scientists discover many bizarre looking creatures, some of which they had never seen before. For example, they found tunicates, plankton eating animals that look like slender glass structure and are up to yard tall. Riddles say that the tunicates were standing in fields like pup puppies. Although they were underwater, the scientists described other strange creatures from the depths of the cold seas. Okay, underline that word tunicates. Now, do you see how it has a comma right after it? Remember that comma rule we said it has a word and then the comma? Why? Because what comes after? The definition. So it gave us the definition. So what are those? What are tunicates? Santiago. Plankton eating animals that look like 
slender glass structures and are up to a yard tall. Okay, look at the photograph that's right there, the real photograph. That's a picture of it. Okay, so that's what they look like. Okay, now in that paragraph, what I want you to do, you're going to turn and talk to your partner. I want you guys to discuss what do you think the main idea is of that paragraph. So what is that paragraph mostly talking about? Okay, and then underline it, and I want you to turn and talk to share with your partner what the main idea is. The, yeah. I put a sign to the government of the living creatures. You know, you know, I put a comma. No, I just put a stat. Okay. So they, they discovered the bizarre looking creatures. Or they, they never have been seen at all before. Well, maybe somebody did, but they, they said maybe they were just thinking about it. What was the main idea that you and your partner discussed? Let's have one pair share. Um, okay, Dahlia. Um, Scientists discovered many bizarre looking creatures, some which are they had never seen before. Okay. Oh. Well, how do you know that that was the main idea? Because it was in the first paragraph, uh, the first line, and it was mostly talking about all uh, the different type of creatures they saw. Okay, and it used that transition word. What was that transition word that it used? Discover. For example. For example. So it gave us an example of the actual main idea. All right. Now, what I want you to do for the last few paragraphs, I want you to read them on your own silently. And then, once you're done reading with your partner, I want you to go ahead and do your summary, okay? I want y'all to write a summary together. And I'm going to give you about five minutes to do that, and then we're going to read our summaries out loud in just a moment, okay? So read the last paragraphs together on your own, and then work on your summary with your partner, okay? And do the summary. Yeah, you can start it and then y'all can talk about it to see if it's the same. Big, uh, uh, ocean. Well. So, what do you put it? Species on the Antarctic day that knows when. This article is about new species to be discovered in the Antarctica Ocean. Okay. Let's do the details help me understand. D. D. Help me under. Are you done? Yeah. The teacher says they live. Ah. The, okay, let's put the animals are have been deep in the large sizes. Uh -huh. they, they had transformed to deep in different sizes. Yes. Yeah, understand that. And that there's more so animals the and do that. They, they go up. We can put that. But the changes that they have in animals. Oh, I get it. The value that they have taken from Achieve is that it's helped them. Um, on our benchmark that we recently took, expository has always been a genre that they've struggled with in the past. We've seen that it was their strongest genre on the benchmark. They were able to test well on text features, graphic sources, main idea. It was They did well, and they were very excited when we went over the benchmark. I got all of these right. Oh, th that was a hard question and I got it right. So they felt very proud of themselves knowing, oh, okay, this isn't so hard. So they were able to see that it transfers. What we do every week is going to help them, not just on STAR, but just critically thinking in other content areas. Okay, time's up. All right, now let me have one pair share. All right, Santiago, what was your summary? My summary was this article was about the scientists that identified new life uh, examples in the, the uh, icy waters off the coast of Antarctica. The details help me understand that they found new species. I learned. I learned oh, his turn. Oh, he's going to help you? Okay. Oh, oh yeah, I'm I know that three, four thousand, they're far down six thousand seven hundred feet. The, the species, the author wants to remember how you, how the experience on the ground. Okay. 
So when we do a summary, the article was about comes from where? The title. The title. It's your topic, right? The main idea, we said that's what the details help you understand because all the details are going to be supporting that main idea. So should most of our summaries be very similar to each other? No. Yes or no? The I learned would probably be the different thing because all of you learned something different. Okay, let's compare and see. Another pair to share their summary. Jasleen. This article was about a deep cold sea. The details help me understand that scientists identify real life examples of these creatures deep in the icy water of the coast of Antarctica. I learned that some of the animals that live in deep sea grow to unusual large size. The author wants me to remember that scientists are planning to follow up expedition in 10 to 15 years. At that point, they will see if the ecosystem is any different. Good job. Yeah. Very, very close. Okay. Last one. This article was about new species to be discovered in the Antarctic Ocean. The details help me understand they grow almost the whole time that they're the size of a dinner plate. I learned that there's new species of animals in the Antarctic Ocean. The author wants me to remember the scientists want to follow up to 10 to 15 years of expedition to discover new species. Good. Okay, so our summaries were the same almost. You just used your own words, which is fine. That's good. Because all that we need to do in a summary is make sure we're taking the important and the key information for a good summary. Okay, so if I put this article was about, what would be my topic? About the deep cold sea. The details help me understand what? Okay, so let's condense that to our own words. So help me understand scientists what? Okay, identify species, okay? Now, the interesting thing that I learned, because I did not know, is that they were discovering that it says that, what paragraph was this? Um, that some of the animals in various places had funny dangling bits around their mouths. And I was wondering, I was like, what are the dangly bits that are around their mouths? So, science, so I learned some had dangly bits around their mouths. It's my cursive A. Because Miss Garcia is perfect. I don't make mistakes, remember? All right, now the author wants me to remember. Wants me to remember. And what did he, where do we always locate that? In the, at the very end, because that's our big statement. And we said what? What does he want us to remember? Okay, so they're going, remember, a new expedition will happen in 10 to 15 years. Okay, good. All right, so now what we're going to do, I looked at your Achieve to see which questions that we had a little bit of trouble with. Again, we struggled a little bit on the author's purpose, okay? Why? Because what got you guys, remember, inform, there was two informs. Just because our tree map says inform, we have to read those answer choices to figure out exactly what he's informing us about. Because I wouldn't say he's going to inform us about the latest toy that came out in the mall. If you just go off of the first verb, inform, you're not going to get the right answer. So the, pop, the author probably wrote this article in order to what? What are the clue words in that question? Probably. 
Probably, which means we're going to what? Do the lupa. Okay, remember the lupa from third grade. Ms. Rodriguez taught you all that as well. What do we use the lupa for? For inferring, draw inclusions, because it's not going to, the author didn't say, now guys, I wrote this article because of this. Did he tell us that in the article? No, no so we're going to have to use the clues, the details, to figure out why he wrote this article. So draw your um, lupa next to your question, and we're going to look at question five together. Take one, pass it out. Okay, so look at number five. Go ahead and draw your lupa there, the magnifying glass. <laughs> because we're going to find clues. Now I want you to look at all four answer choices. What do we need to do first? We've got to get rid of the two crazies. We don't want these two crazies distracting us. So which two could we eliminate? Read all four answer choices. Now the crazies are going to be the ones that have no evidence. We can't find any clues to support it. Read all four answer choices before you figure out which are the crazies. Okay, what's one crazy answer choice? Eileen? B. B. Explain how gigantuism affects marine animals living in the world's ocean. Why did you eliminate that one? Because it's not talking about, uh, explaining about gigantic effect. Uh, effects marine. Okay, so he, you don't think he wrote the whole article to explain those effects? Okay, remember if he writes the whole, the, why he wrote the whole article, it's the whole article, not just the details. So yes, I agree. Does everybody agree B should be explained? I mean, should be eliminated? Okay, so we eliminated B. Which other one could we eliminate? Uh, Marisa. Why did you eliminate C? Okay, so it wasn't saying how they study the animals, right? Okay, so you have your two maybes. Now they're both in form, so you're going to have to really pay attention to why it's in form. All right, so inform the readers about some unusual creatures found in the waters near Antarctica. Okay, inform the readers about why bottom-dwelling sea creatures have large eyes. Okay, so if you said that A is our answer, how do you know that A is the right answer? Santiago. Because it, the whole article was mainly about the, the, the unusual creatures that they found in the waters near Antarctica. Okay, so how do you know that, all, that that was what it was mostly because, about? Because that stuff was in the article? Because it was in the article where? Where did you find it in the article? They even showed a picture about it and Almost the whole article was about these creatures. Paragraph three. Okay. Um, the main idea. Thank you. Oh, light bulbs, light bulbs. Yes, the main idea. The main idea talked about that they had found creatures in the waters. Remember, we even plugged that into our summary. So remember, so I could say that this was the main idea. That would have been my evidence. Paragraph one. Okay, you have to find evidence to support those answer choices. Now what I want you to do, in partners, you are going to work the remaining questions, okay? Now remember, do you get to use dictionaries on STAR? Yes. yes. Okay, so we need to practice using our dictionaries. It's not STAR formatted, but it's the TEAK. It's using this text to teach this TEAK. Um, it's not an extra thing we have to do. It's use, choosing to use this as your mentor text, and there's so many teaks that can be met through this one article. You hit text features, you hit graphic sources, you hit the purpose of those graphic sources, author's purpose, main idea, summarizing. So all of the teaks that they will be tested on on STAR, you're able to pull them out of this one article and the article meets an interest that they have. If you can find an article that they're engaged in and they're interested in, teach. So on the vocabulary question, synonyms, antonyms, grab that dictionary. You need to be looking for those dictionaries, the definitions of those words. 
Work the questions. I want to see all of your strategies that your poor third grade teachers slaved away teaching you. Okay? I don't want to see you with a blank article. Cite all of your evidence in that article. Okay? I want to see. What, this is where I found question one. This is where I found question two. When you're done, I want the article in your chief folder and the questions with your name into the blue bucket. Okay? Yeah, we're going to do thought question after the, the activity questions. Okay. okay? Are there any questions? No. Choose your partner wisely. Okay? okay? So for a brand new Fort Worth ISD teacher, I would say embrace achieve because it is not something extra. It is something that is a tool, and it's a, a great tool to prepare your students, not just for STAR, but beyond STAR, just in the real world, because it challenges them to become critical thinkers. It encourages them to be curious. I mean, it, it gets them prepared for college because they start writing in complete sentences already in Achieve. It allows them that opportunity. And so just embracing it and putting it into a routine from the beginning, you'll find success. The students will find success within themselves. They will feel good. You will feel good about seeing the growth at the end of the year.